Hey friends, this video is for May week four. How is it May week four already? That is crazy. Um, but this is for our children for May week four. All month long we've been asking the question, who made everything? And our bottom line this month is God made everything. And our memory verse for the month is God saw everything he had made and it was very good. Genesis 131. So this whole month we've been talking about creation. Week one was day one and day two with light and dark sky and water. Then week two was days, day three with land, plant, sea, sun, moon, and stars. Then we moved, oh, that was day three and day four. And then last week we talked about God making birds and fish, which was day five. This week we are moving on to day six of creation, which was animals and people. So week four, well, this week is super special because on day six, God made the animals and God made the people. This means every time a preschooler goes to feed their dog or cat, they can know that God made them. And every time they look in the mirror to see another person, they know, or see another person, they know that God made them too. God made everything, and this time it was very good. So I love that. What a great lesson for this week. Jumping into our leader guide, we would love for you to join us for coffee and donuts and prayer in the garage room at 820 and 1020. Then just make sure that you are to your room by 830 and 1030 so you've got everything ready to go. Kiddos will start to check in at 8.40 and 10.40, and they can play with toys after they check in and get settled. And then at about 5 after, start cleaning up. We just have one little intro game um, this week. What you're going to have is, I haven't done this yet, I'm going to take this bag home and I'm going to fill it up with all these little plastic animals that we have all over our house. And I'm going to put them inside this bag and I will bring it back with me. And you're going to sit with the kiddos on the carpet and have them each take a turn picking an animal from the bag. And when they pick the animal, see if they can tell you what it is. And then after they've all gone, just say, great job naming your animals today, friends. Today we are going to hear a story from the Bible who tells us who made all the animals. And then at 20 after, 9, 20, and 11, 20, you will head out to the large group area. After large group, you have a few different things that you can do. The first one, um, I ordered more of these labels because I didn't have enough. But we'll have these labels that have the memory verse on them. And what you're going to do is you're going to practice the memory verse, and then you're going to say it. You're going to say, we're going to say our memory verse while we look at God's greatest creation. And then I've got a mirror over there, so you're going to hold the mirror up, and you're going to have the kids look in the mirror and say, you're going to see God's greatest creation, and it's you. People are the best thing that God ever made. And then have each kid take a turn standing in front of the mirror and saying their memory verse, and then you can give them a sticker after they say their verse. Then another activity that we have, creation blocks. You have all these blocks. There's a whole bunch of them back there. They all have a different animal or person on it. And so what you're going to do is you are going to talk about how God made everything. So you're going to sit together on the carpet and you're going to say, this block has an elephant on it. Can you stack it on this block? Oh, look, it has a tiger on it. God made the elephant and God made the tiger. This block has a man on it. His name is Adam in our Bible story. Where do you want to stack Adam? Oh, cool. Just practice. Talk about the different things that are on the blocks and have the kids practice stacking the blocks. You can do a few smaller stacks um, or you can try to make one big stack. Just be careful knocking it over because those blocks are kind of hard. And then just remind kids who made everything. God made everything. Then another game that you can do, this is called Creation Roll. So on each side of this um, dice is a different activity that the kids can do. Slither like a snake, hop like a bunny, scratch like a monkey, crawl like a bear. And so you can have different kids take turns rolling the dice and acting like different people, different things that God created. That one's a person, skip like a person. And then just reminding them who made everything, God made everything. And finally, the craft this week is super simple. I have a bunch of big ink pads coming in that are all different colors. Kids can put their hand on the ink pad and then stamp it on here um, because God made them. So you're just going to say, today we learn even more about creation and what God made on day six. God made animals and people like me and you. God made each of us special and unique. So we're going to put our special handprint in the middle of the paper. And then I've got wet wipes up there too for you to wipe their hands off. It is washable ink. Um... And you're going to line up the papers and say, look, some handprints are big, some are little, just like you. You're all different. And we know that God made the whole world and everything in it. And then you can just kind of review the different days. And, he's, and 
Um, on day six, God made animals and people, and God saw everything that he had made, and he said, that is good. So who made everything? God made everything. So that is it for this week, friends. A super fun week talking about how God made animals and people. I know the kiddos will love it. Thank you guys so much for serving. Um, you guys are just an incredible team. I am working, working, working. I try to add more people to your team so that um, you've just got more volunteers to help you with some of our two-year-olds. So thankful for all of you that serve so faithfully. Um, I just appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for pouring into the next generation and teaching them these building blocks of faith. I'm so grateful for you guys, and we'll see you on Sunday.